And now we are on our way to Takya village to meet Falda Bibi, a home-based worker. And we just stop on our way right off the motorway just to have a cup of tea and pick up Gohar Bibi, our Sabha Pakistan's co-chairperson. Hello everyone from this beautiful village in Pandi Manim. It's a great example of female empowerment, home-based female workers creating beautiful handicrafts by fusing tradition and trend. We are in the house of one such woman, Khalda Bibi. So let's go and see what Khalda Bibi and her colleagues in this village have to show us today. तकरीबन 20-25 साल हो गए ने मैं ये काम शुरू की था। ये तो शुरू की था या पहले तो मेरे आमदनी ने इतना जरिया कोई भी नहीं है मशीनात में काम करने। It's been about 20-25 years since I started this work. Initially, I made clothes using a sewing machine and didn't have much of an income. Ever since Sangi came to our village, they have trained us on color combinations, designing, embroidery, cutting, and stitching. Due to which my income has increased day by day. I was able to contribute to my children's marriages as well as towards building this house and buying land. I bought gold for each child's wedding. I was able to do Hajj and Umrah with my own money and paid for my husband and children to go for pilgrimage too. पहले तो जब तो संगी भी चिन्ना है तो अपने कार तो अरिपुर देवी जाजत नहीं है यो तो गालू डार भी लगता है जुल्दे भी ना है। Before Sangi came, we were not even allowed to go up to Haripur. We were also scared, but Sangi opened our eyes and thanks to Sangi, I've travelled to Islamabad, Lahore, Karachi, Peshawar, India and Bangladesh. I've been to India six or seven times. Gohar Bibi and I even bought our own tickets to take part in an exhibition of Sabha Pakistan in India. We stayed there for 15 days and made about 250,000 rupees at the exhibition. There are other girls from 60 to 70 households who make things and earn 10 to 12,000 rupees a month, which helps them with their monthly expenditures like buying clothes for themselves. It all started way back in 1992 when Sangi Development Foundation they started a project here and in 1999 we got a full funding from a Dutch organization Oxfam Norweb that was an income generation project and in 2008 the separate organization a sister organization was established by the name of Sabha Pakistan that is SAG Business Association of Home Based Women Workers it's a self sustained uh, um, project but government of Pakistan Pakistan is supporting this uh, uh, Sabha Pakistan by leasing out the buildings and all the assets to us. So we have a great support from the Ministry of Finance and Government of Pakistan. मैं 12 साल की थी जब हमारे गांव में बाकी सब लोग भी कर रहे थे इसका बिनते हजारा के नाम से. I was 12 years old when other people in my village used to do this work. There were a center known as Binte Hazara where my aunt used to break cushion covers for pulkari embroidery. We used to embroider flowers on these cushions and got 60 rupees. This work slowly increased and we were making more cushions. We started giving other women work too in our and the adjoining villages. There were around 90 women who were working then in our village initially it was very difficult for us to leave our homes and the village and to travel to exhibitions it felt very strange because we were used to this confined space where everyone knew one another we had to hear a lot of negative comments from people too but once we stepped out and came back with money we had earned people started realizing that this was for a good cause mera naam shabana hai aur main kadai ka kaam karti hu my name is shabana i do embroidery i work with khalta bibi i feel a sense of freedom when i earn my own money and i'm not dependent on anyone that means i can support my family when they need any help which makes me very happy look at this made by these women by hand It's a, it's a art, and more and more, what I see in Pakistan, the machine is going to take it over, and then it will die out. And not only this, it's also gives status to women here in Pakistan, because it's not simple stitching. It's uh, it's enormous. Huh? It's are all artists. These women here. So I think we should support them. पहले देश खत्म हो गया, 
ਜਿਸਲੇ ਦੁਬਾਰੇ ਫਿਰ ਉਹ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋਇਆ ਤੇ ਦੁਬਾਰੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਇਸਾ ਮੋੜ ਕੇ ਤੇ ਨਵੀਂ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਮਿਲੀ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦਾ ਫੁਲਕਾਰੀ ਐਮਬਰੋਇਡਰੀ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਫੇਡਿੰਗ ਆਰਟ ਇਟਸ ਰਿਵਾਈਵਲ ਆਫਟਰ ਆਲਮੋਸਟ 100 ইয়ারਸ ਹੈਜ਼ ਗਿਵਨ ਇਟ ਅ ਨਿਊ ਲਾਈਫ ਦ ਮੋਰ ਯੰਗ ਗਰਲਸ ਲਰਨ ਥਿਸ ਫਾਰਮ ਆਫ ਐਮਬਰੋਇਡਰੀ ਦ ਵਾਈਡਰ ਇਟ ਵਿਲ ਰੀਚ ਐਂਡ ਬਿਕਮ ਅ ਸੋਰਸ ਆਫ ਇਨਕਮ ਫॉर ਮੈਨੀ ਯੰਗ ਗਰਲਸ ਇਨ ਵਿਮਨ ਸੰਗੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਟਰੂਲੀ ਚੇਂਜਡ ਦ ਲਾਈਫਸ ਆਫ ਸੋ ਮੈਨੀ ਯੰਗ ਗਰਲਸ ਹੂ ਕੈਨ ਅਰਨ ਥੇਅਰ ਓਨ ਇਨਕਮਸ ਐਂਡ ਮੇਕ ਥੇਅਰ ਓਨ ਡਾਊਰੀਸ ਦ ਮੋਰ ਵਰਕ ਥੇ ਡੂ ਦ ਮੋਰ ਥੇ ਕੈਨ ਅਰਨ we get orders from villages where people from other cities order cushion covers shawls and other things i make things to send to islamabad and for exhibitions all over like lahore and karachi these women they are skilled craft persons and this was a dying craft so when they started working on this this is like a two pronged strategy they were they, they were also conserving the craft as well as they, this is helping them to earn income and they are supporting themselves and they they are empowered in a way they have excess like they have their own money as they had mentioned earlier they had the freedom to spend the way they want to spend the money jab hamare ghar walon ko bhi pata chala hamare aas pados ke logon ko bhi ki ye isme masla to kuch bhi nahi hai other women followed in our footsteps when they also realized that there was nothing wrong in doing this work and earning an income for our own needs we started gaining confidence and learned how to speak to people and deal with things the first step was going to other villages for meetings and then to haripur for district level meetings and to other cities across the country for sanghi exhibitions in 2019 we were connected with santa fe folk art and craft and got the opportunity to attend an international event i was invited to attend an exhibition of home based workers doing craft work and they funded my travel and stay I went to exhibit my work there and there were a lot of people from around the world to exhibit international folk art who appreciated our work one of the professors who is also on the board of Santa Fe Folk Art saw our work and appreciated the original pulkari embroidery a lot she commissioned us to make pieces for the George Washington University Museum as a comparison to an old embroidery and to show that this craft is still alive Two other girls and I worked on that piece which was displayed at an exhibition last month. I think it's a, it's a great project that I see here in the village with uh, how these women with support has set up their own business, they are selling their own dresses, they go to the markets, they do the whole production line by their own, they have their own community. Um, so I think if you are as a Pakistani living abroad and you think wow this is such a great project you should buy from them you can do it online uh, you can go with this fabric to every you can even buy do it by yourself and make a beautiful dress with the idea in your mind that you are supporting pakistani women empowered women beautiful alda bibi kya bana rahe ho are wah zabardast Hope you like this video and if you did then please support Pakistani culture Pakistani heritage and women empowerment by subscribing to Scottistani YouTube channel if you get a chance please like comment and share